Hello and welcome everyone to the BSS 044-3 International Business Management Unit. Uh, this video is just going to introduce a unit and point you towards uh, some, some important resources uh, to help you get the most uh, from this unit in your final semester. Uh, so in terms of what the unit's about, uh, it's a unit called International Business, um, so as you'd expect, it is about businesses uh, and corporations operating uh, across borders, uh, but it is clustered around some key themes as well. Uh, so firstly, the differences between operating internationally compared to operating domestically, uh, and we are going to look at a, a number of, of functional areas such as operations, uh, supply chains, HRM, uh, and look at how, uh, and marketing as well, and look at how uh, the international um, functioning uh, of those functional areas differs from operating domestically. Uh, looking at how international businesses deal with difference, so in particular political, cultural, legal, uh, and other differences, differences in market, differences uh, in the regulatory environment, uh, differences in the physical environment as well. Uh, and how those uh, can be barriers or, or opportunities. Uh, looking at the impact that international businesses actually have on the countries they operate in. So whether these are cultural impacts, impacts on the business environment, impacts on the political environment and the social fabric uh, of, of the countries they operate in. Uh, and lastly, looking at just how the, the international business uh, context is, is rapidly changing. So we're in a, a period of reconfiguration and change uh, in the international sphere, uh, whether that's geopolitics, whether that's uh, you know looming challenges such as climate change, uh, whether that's uh, the changing global economy. So looking at, at you know particularly this period of change and reconfiguration. Right and we have a, a unit timetable and, and it is organized by by theme. Uh, so we've tried to, to break it down uh, as a natural progression. So looking at macro environmental issues and looking at various uh, specific functional issues uh, within international business uh, and then ending uh, on some broader themes such as development debates uh, as well as future trends. In terms of where you can find key information on the unit, the short answer is always going to be Brio, uh, and in particular, the uh, unit handbook. So you can find the unit handbook on Brio under the welcome and unit overview folder. There's a separate handbook for every location. So whether that's Bedford, OCB, Birmingham, London, uh, or Milton Keynes, um, there is a separate handbook because it has... Uh, details of your specific classes, rooms, uh, your your tutors, uh, and so on. Uh, it pretty much has all the information that you need. Um, so how to contact the, the tutors who are, are teaching you in class, as well as myself as uh, the unit coordinator, uh, covering research notebooks, looking at the various online as well as physical classes, um, looking at the assessments, the, the concerns or support available around assessments, uh, looking at acceptable turnitin scores, looking at the policy around ChatGPT, Google Translate, Grammarly, Callbot. Uh, so there, there really is a, a really key number of, of really important questions which are discussed and answered in the handbook. Um, please read through the handbook. Uh, as soon as you, you get a chance, uh, but also refer back to it during the unit as or when you have any issues. In terms of the way the content is presented itself uh, on the Brio show, you see that there is a, a bit of a change from how uh, uh, you know other units in the past have presented it. Uh, the university policy has changed. Uh, so now you'll see three folders in each week. Uh, you'll find a checklist in the before class folder, and that will just run through where you should be uh, in terms of progression through the unit, reminding you of key upcoming uh, deadlines, whether they're submitting uh, company proposals, the assessment deadlines, obviously, uh, as well as uh, you know deadlines relating to the research notebooks and so on. Uh, so that will, will all be in the before class folder. Uh, obviously, in the, the during class folder, you'll find the lecture slides and the teaching materials that we use in class. Uh, and then lastly, in the after class folder, uh, you'll find further reading. 
So this isn't textbook reading. Uh, we you know, expect you to read along uh, in terms of the textbook and the academic reading list. Uh, rather, the after class is contemporary uh, articles. So things relating to either current events um, or since I've prepared them just before the unit started, relatively current uh, events uh, and looking at how the issues and concepts and models that we discuss during the class uh, actually play out in, in real uh, situations and, and, and areas of the world today. Uh, in terms of the assessment, you'll find um, an assessment timeline, which kind of highlights the various uh, support avenues available, as well as the, the things to do for the assessment. Uh, so there is a chance to propose using a specific company for the assessment, uh, taking part in a checkpoint where you get feedback as well um, prior to the submission of the final report. Uh, the timeline is, is important to look at just to give you a sense of, of how you should be progressing uh, through assessment preparation uh, in order to submit the best assessment you can, as well as things like the brief and the submission links and so on. Um, and lastly, the research notebooks as well. So you'll find a video introduction to the notebooks, uh, as well as links to the research notebooks on the Brio shelf. All right, brilliant. Thank you very much. Uh, take care all and uh, I hope you enjoy the unit.